Dear someone that wants to mod ready or not, well, you've come to the wrong place because I know nothing about modding, but I just might be able to help you download your mods. Now, there are multiple websites where you can download mods for ready or not, but what I recommend is the Nexus because it's probably the most trusted when it comes to modding, or at least until they make it so that Steam Workshop is more viable. If you're someone that decides to do a website other than the Nexus, then you should really be careful because a lot of these other websites might be harboring stolen mods. I didn't know that that was actually a thing until a lot of modders told me about it which if you want to learn about that i have a video on that i'll put it in the description or at the top right but anyways so say you see a mod that you want to download i have five mods here these are all just map mods i'm gonna really quick show you how to download them i'm using google chrome to download this in case you were wondering but i've also used firefox it should work on multiple browsers well obviously this is a nexus website you need to have a account to do this you don't have to have a premium account you could just have the regular account there are noticeable differences between downloads speeds though if you don't have the premium package the downloads can be ridiculously slow if you're someone that's just trying to get like one mod then it's not a big deal but if you're someone that's trying to get like multiple mods then man it can take a very long time if you're someone that's really trying to go all out on mods then i definitely recommend the premium it's actually relatively cheap it's only like five bucks or something like that for like a month but if not then just stick with the regular and just bide your time i guess and you go down to here to manual and then it'll start downloading i have the premium so it'll just automatically download it for me but if you don't have the premium, then it'll take you to another screen where it'll show you two options. Again, you don't need the premium to download it. Just choose the regular download. You don't need the premium. But since I have the premium, it'll just automatically download it for me. I'm downloading at least five maps here. And we'll just go ahead and wait until these are all downloaded. Some of these are going to be faster than others. Okay, so now my mods are finally downloaded and wow, there is an actual difference between premium and regular. So I'm going to open all of these up. By the way, this always pops up with this stuff and you really don't need to do that. I honestly feel bad about not supporting them at all because they do a lot of stuff, but you know, it is what it is. So there are two ways to actually do this. There's the least fun way, which is just going through this app right here. You could extract and then go through, I'm trying to remember where I actually keep the game. I think it's in the default Steam games. There we go. And then look for, I think it's steam apps and then look for common and then look for which ready or not at it's at the bottom i believe here's ready or not go to ready or not again go to content look for packs these are some of the files that i created which i'll get to in the other version but the ones that you want to look for is obviously the modded maps and then just press ok and it should extract it all the way to there of course i've already done this with the other one so uh, I'm not going to redo that again. So that's like the lame way. Here's the fun way. And then what we need to do is go to our Steam here, right click on ready or not, go down to properties, look for local files, browse, and then click on the ready or not file and go to content and then look for packs. Packs is your biggest friend when it comes to modding. Now, you could just take one of these and just drag it and drop it. it shows up down here. But I like to keep it a little bit organized. So you right click and you just click new folder and I already made mine. So I have mine as modded maps. See all my maps are right here. Go back one. Just take this one and just drag it in there. Or you could just go in the folder that you made and just drop all of these inside of there. There are some maps that require you to just do a little more. This one doesn't, but sometimes the files have README. It'll tell you how to do it too, which this one's just simple. It's just putting it into packs. So I'm just gonna do that. Like this one right here. This is the Duplicis Diamond Store Remake from Swamp 4. So here's the map. You obviously just put this one into my modded maps folder that I created. Packs. I don't know if this is required though. Uh, it says how to get SWAT AI. You have this file that's right here and it tells me to, there should be a save file located in the same folder. Folder, all you need to do is get SWAT AI already generated as a paste the save file which is this one that's right here so I need to put it in saved save games got you so what you do is you simply just go back out of the folder that you may or may not have created then go back again to content go back again to ready or not back again down to saved saved games and then I assume just drop it in here I assume or unless this wants me to go to local app data but I don't know I could be wrong I believe you dropped this in here, but I could be wrong. Let's hope that works. But yeah, everything should be downloaded mostly into your hacks file. Here's all my maps here. So let's just go ahead and hop into Ready or Not. All right, so really quick here. If you're someone that wants to play with friends, you definitely can. But there's a little bit of a caveat to that. You got to go to options, scroll down until you get to server side checksum. And like you still have mods downloaded. And this is how you play with friends. 
remove this tick mark so that it allows your buddies to come in and if they have different mods or if you have different mods you guys can play together but you can only play official maps if you want to play the same maps then both of you have to download those specific mods that you downloaded Okay, so just thought I'd let you know if you want to play with friends, you have to make sure that you either have this checked and just play official maps or have both of the same mods downloaded. I still keep it unchecked anyway, though. But anyways, we're going to hop on the single player here. Oh, and I also should warn you that loading screens are going to take forever when you're using mods. So just be aware of that. So if you get any like gun mods or skin mods most likely the skin mods are going to show up right here next to the mirror and the gun mods are going to show up mostly here in the loadout i'm not going to use a whole lot of gun mods i'm more interested in the maps and the guns and the skins but if you want to that's completely up to you so here are all the maps that i think i added in Let's see if i can find one that i plugged in Let's see if i can find the diamond one diamond yeah shifter exposition ron psycho wonderly hills motel let's see if i can find the diamond one all right here's that diamond one Well, like I said, it takes a really long time for this stuff to uh, download. This is a really good looking remake of that Swap War map. Well, I hope that helps you guys out. If you want to get rid of the mods, just simply go back to the packs folder and just delete all the mods that are right there. If you're having any issues, then just delete all of it and reinstall ready or not with the validated files and stuff. And you should be good to go. Again, I want to state that I'm not the best when it comes to modding. Like, I just know how to somewhat download it. So if I said anything wrong in here, then correct me down in the comments. I'll definitely read those. But I hope I helped you as much as I could. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.